I pour it, that Hellcat, I floor it. They was hanging on me, hit the dealership and crushed them. Bankroll too big, got me what is up guys it's up come sports here with the madden 20 tampa bay buccaneers realistic franchise this is episode one of this series make sure you drop a like if you want to see the upload schedule that i just made there will be a link in the description make sure you share this video with your friends and make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss a video so we're gonna get right into it in this season number one and it is gonna be on all pro for season one as i'm not the best madden player in the world and i tried to play on all madden it's just too insane you can ask anyone and they'll say all madden is way too crazy but simulation based i'm gonna control everything so everything is gonna go through me and checking out the team we've got Jameis winston a 76 overall with star development so he is kind of a question mark in this series i don't know if he's the franchise quarterback um obviously he's got some good traits to him he's shown flashes of being a really excellent quarterback but his turnovers and his decision making are not the best so Jameis winston as you guys can see a lot of interceptions a lot of turnovers in his first four seasons so this year i'm gonna give him a trial run i'm gonna make him the starter play him out this whole season and we'll make a decision on him in the offseason whether we draft a quarterback or not but Peyton Barber not really a number one running back in my eyes as we're gonna try to get a better running back in the draft Mike Evans though he's gonna be untouchable he is our star for this and he is a superstar has superstar x factor the new addition in Madden 20 and if you don't know what it is basically he has super overpowered things that once he gets hot like nobody can really stop him and it's really hard for him to drop balls so he has a couple of these you guys can pause those and look through them just has better route running on a couple of different ones streaks curls and also double me so defenders are less likely to stop him if they if he's not double covered some other interesting pieces on this team chris godwin i really like in real life he's only an 81 overall but he should be a really good second option eventually he'll be a third option for this team but i do want to keep him damar dotson is on the older side he's 33 on the o-line the o-line definitely needs some work but it's not the worst o-line in football ali marpet though we're gonna keep here he's fairly young and yeah the offensive line is one of our priorities in free agency and the draft but oj howard he is gonna be nice for us i really like oj howard his size his route running as well his ability to catch in traffic so he's gonna bail us out on a lot of things i believe with Jameis winston now looking at the defensive side of the ball it's a little bit worse than the offense actually a lot worse but we do have some pieces as well like vita vea i do like him he's fairly young as actually he's really young because he was drafted in the last draft so he's gonna be good for us and dominican sue he's on the older side i don't know if we want to trade him at the deadline but i'll tell you guys my plan with this team for year one after i get done with looking at the roster but another really cool feature in madden 20 hidden development so players have certain players young players have to play 500 snaps before we know what kind of development they have so sean murphy bunting uh could have star development we don't know yet he could have normal but he's a pretty good piece he was drafted pretty high in the last draft Brendan hargreaves not the best so definitely our corners need a lot of work and our safeties our safeties and corners are not the best justin evans though is serviceable i do want to keep him on the team but not as the number one uh safety carl nasib he's pretty good devin white though i'm really excited to play with him i like using the linebackers in madden so devin white is a beast he is from lsu and he he's just a monster if you guys haven't seen him play go look up some devin white highlights he's gonna be good for us he's gonna be insane so he has also hidden but he's probably a star levante david also insane 90 overall probably our best player on actually second best player to mike evans but our best defensive player by far the defensive captain so he's gonna be super good for us as the defensive captain shaquille barry also a really young piece really good piece has star development as well so he's a 77 overall you expect a lot of sacks from him and he's still fairly young so he should be able to grow as i said the safeties need a lot of work mj stewart a 69 overall 
as a starter. Corners also a priority, but special teams, our kicker is a rookie. So I don't know how that's gonna go. He's only a 70 overall, Matt Gay. So we'll see if the kicking game is a little bit faulty. We might look for someone, but special teams, there you have it. And we do have a couple of injured guys here, and that is Kendall Beckwith, who is a 71 overall middle linebacker, and also Jason Pierre-Paul, who's a 78 linebacker. So a couple of linebackers injured, and they're going to be out for quite a while, so I don't know when they'll be back, maybe for season two. And the plan for season one is, as I'm going to show you what uh, trainings we're going to do, what well, guys need some training in the preseason but the plan for uh year number one season one i'm gonna go till the trade deadline play every single game up until the trade deadline and then i don't want to finish eight and eight like the tampa bay buccaneers usually do uh, i'll show you guys the schedule you guys can pause it if you would like but i don't want to go eight and eight i either want to make the playoffs or have a really good pick in the draft so at the trade deadline i'm either gonna buy in or trade some pieces but for sure, I either want to make the playoffs or I want to be really bad and have a really good draft pick. So that's the plan. So for the preseason, we're just going to go through all the games pretty quickly here. I'm just going to show you a couple of highlights as the Steelers get an early touchdown for the first touchdown of the season for them as the defense not coming out too hot. And with another pretty bad play right here an interception by Blaine Gabbert so early mistakes costing us in the preseason as we were down 7-0 against the Steelers so not a great start to the season but Blaine Gabbert managed to bounce back here finding an eventual open receiver down the middle on the slant route and actually not a post route and he's gonna tie the ball game up so Blaine Gabbert in the game as with another really good play, Blaine Gabbert's going to find the open tight end down the middle of the field. That's Cameron Bright with the spike of the ball. Puts us up by four in the first preseason game. And again, another chance here. This time with a deeper ball. What a throw and that is an excellent dime. What a dot by Blaine Gabbert. Three touchdowns on the day. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers managed to pick up the W with Blaine Gabbert playing most of the snaps. Jameis Winston only really took nine attempts. He still had an interception in only nine attempts, so that is god awful. But Jameis Winston's gonna have to pick it up. We don't want a lot of turnovers in this preseason, even though it doesn't mean that much. But there you guys can see a couple of guys that stood out, but no one really having great games, so we'll see what the starters can do. Jameis Winston in the second preseason game looking for a touchdown and gets picked off an underthrown ball and it's going to be an interception here. Not a great start for Jameis Winston as he has another turnover. Jameis Winston from the gun again on play action down the middle had an open receiver under through that ball again. And that is going to be two interceptions on the day. Not what we wanted at all. And on the third drive of this game, Jameis Winston with a horrible night as it's his third interception of the game. Not as much his fault on this one, although it was a little bit of a soft pass. So not everything was bad here. As the Dolphins had a good drive, but Levante David cuts the pass and is going to take it, hopefully, for a pick six all the way to the house. 3-3 in this game just before the half. And Levante David will have a pick six jumping that pass. What a player, Levante David. He is going to be nice for us for a long time. The defense with problems, though, on the goal line as the Dolphins run the ball and we are not able to stop them and that is probably going to do it for the game. So a loss here in the second game of the preseason and the starters did get a lot more snaps. Winston 11 for 20, three interceptions, zero touchdowns. 
absolute horrible game from Jameis Winston. Blaine Gabbert, I've got to say, has been outplaying Jameis Winston so far in this preseason. Andre Ellington with a okay game. No one has really played outstanding in this preseason, but it is preseason, not too much. Jameis Winston looking to redeem himself in this third preseason game as he finds an open receiver to take them to the goal line. Nice little play, nice drive here for Jameis Winston. And on that next play, Jameis Winston with a handoff and the breaking of tackles for the touchdown, Andre Ellington. As the Buccaneers and the Browns are tied at seven. Another run here down the middle and the defense breaks open for another one, this time Peyton Barber. And not everything was good as 14-7 up. Jameis Winston with another turnover, this time a fumble. Cannot have that. But not just the offense was struggling as the Browns get into the end zone to tie the game up. Baker Mayfield finds Jarvis Landry for the touchdown, not able to get the stop there. And a field goal to put them up 10 was actually fake. We were not ready for it as the big guy is going to go in for the touchdown as another defeat is coming. So in that third preseason game, Winston played a lot better. One touchdown, no interceptions, but he did have a fumble as 246 yards. Not the worst game in the world, but could be better. Blaine Gabbert did okay as we are going to be 1-2 and two in this preseason. Looking to finish 500 in the preseason for the next game. Looking for anyone to stand out in this preseason run. And on the first drive of this preseason, in the fourth game, Scott Miller, the rookie wide receiver, is going to go in for the touchdown. Great catch. And on another drive here, off of the feed from Blaine Gabbert, Scott Miller with his second touchdown on the night. The rookie showing out, earning some playing time in this preseason. So that is going to be a W for that final game of the preseason as Blaine Gabbert played pretty well. Two touchdowns to zero interceptions. Jameis Winston didn't really play much, wasn't able to do much against the Cowboys, but two and two on the preseason. Not a bad little showing, but we definitely got to pick it up for the regular season. Scott Miller though, 75 yards, two touchdowns. So he's proving that he deserves some play time here. So if you enjoyed this episode, make sure that you don't miss the next episode. Episode 2 will be on Saturday, probably at 3. You guys can see the upload schedule. Link in the description if you have Twitter. So that will tell you when I'll be uploading all of the next episodes. But if you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like. Leave a comment. I'll take any suggestions for this series on the road to 500 subscribers.